This is Banjo, and today I'll be taking a look at sling loading of external cargo for the Kamov 50 in DCS World. Some features of sling loading have been added for the Kamov since 1.5, and I'll be taking a look at them in their current state. As we can see under control bindings, for Kamov 50 under category external cargo, we have a new set of four bindings. The two that we'll concern ourselves with are the cargo hook and auto unhook. Emergency unhook works as well. After calling the cargo radio command through the radio menu under F6, I will attach to the cargo using the cargo hook binding, at which point I am able to lift off with the cargo. As we'll see, it greatly affects my available lift, and it isn't until I start to build up some transitional lift that I'm actually able to lift the cargo. We'll see this from both first person and third person perspectives. This particular cargo in question weighs about 4 tons. As we're able to see in the external view, we can see the rope attached from the helicopter up to the cargo. Rope length can be adjusted in the editor. Available sizes are between 0 and 30 meters. The process is fairly simple, where at this point I'm going to slowly increase my altitude to bring up tension on the rope, at which point I'll start increasing my airspeed, which will give me a bit of transitional lift, allowing me to lift the cargo off of the ramp. And as we're able to see, the cargo is suspended before it is picked up and lifted off of the ramp, rather than being dragged across it. To unload the cargo, I simply slow down my airspeed and descend to lower the cargo down onto the location I wish to drop it, at which point I use the auto unhook control binding. The effect on lift once I drop the cargo is quite noticeable as I was in a state of descent and I stabilized without adjusting the collective at all.